Hey everyone, it's Ari, and I posted a TikTok. Oh my god, there's a fly. Sorry, I got scared. I posted a TikTok about like 15 minutes ago showcasing this Winamp skin, or just Winamp in general, and I got my first comment on it was asking for a tutorial, so I decided, hey, why not? Might help someone in the future, you know? Winamp is basically a music player. So you know how Windows normally has a music player like this? Winamp is basically that, but it just looks cooler and you can customize it with skins and stuff. Uh, I have three of them already downloaded because these are my three favorite ones. Oh, oh. And I'll get into that later. But for now, I'm gonna just teach you step by step how to download your music from Spotify and then put it in Winamp. It's super, super duper easy. First, you're gonna wanna download Python. You just search up Python, you can download it from here, and then just follow the steps to set it up. That's the first thing you want to download. The second thing you want to download is FFmpeg. Download it based on what device you have. I'm using Windows, so you just go over here, click on one of these, you download one of these, and you set it up from there. Then next what you're going to want to do is download some kind of Spotify to mp3 converter a lot of people suggest sp oh i spelled it wrong a lot of people suggest <laughs> spot dl i have tried spot dl in the past it is a little spotty it doesn't work sometimes and to be honest it's way too complicated for me personally so recently i went to find another kind of thing like that i can't spell for my life oh my god and i found spot fetch spot fetch is a way simpler spot dl in my opinion so all you're going to do is just search up SpotFetch, it'll take you to this GitHub page, and then you're just going to click this external link, Exportify, and then it's going to have you log into Spotify. I've already logged in, so uh, it already has my information, but once you log in, you press Get Started, and it'll show you all of these playlists that you have. For example's sake, let's download a playlist I haven't downloaded yet. Uh, let's try IRL Angel. You're going to download it, and I suggest making an entirely new folder to hold all your music and CSV files. I made this one right here called Music, and then I have this CSV folder right here. You're going to just download the CSV file. There it is. And then open the file itself. Oh, it looks like I already have, <laughs> looks like I already have it downloaded, but that's okay. Uh, you're just going to open the file location and just keep note of this keep this open you can download as many csvs as you want it takes absolutely no time at all you just start spamming export 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 and download it all into one folder like i have right here and again keep that open for now but we're going to close exportify okay correction because i just realized that i made this mistake what you're going to do at this point is open up the file where or open up the folder where spot fetch is installed from here you're going to type in command in the line and then ignore my misspelled name you're gonna type all of these or copy and paste all of these into command prompt one by one i've already done it so i can't really show you what it looks like step by step depending on what version of python you have python 3 menu pi or python menu pi might not work in that case just type pi menu pi oh my god i can't type and it should show up but it won't show up because i already have a window open like that but when it works you're gonna see this menu right here here comes the fun part we're gonna open the csv folder you're gonna make a new folder for your music where it's gonna download and keep this open too all right we're gonna go to command prompt it'll give you a few options it'll say download spotify using csv you can ignore the other ones for now but they're helpful too for now you're just gonna press one then enter, then it'll say enter CSV file path. We're gonna copy this CSV pile, pile, file, <laughs> then paste it and remove the quotation marks that were around it. Then you're just gonna press enter. It'll ask you for your output folder path. You're gonna copy the folder path of where you want your music to go in, paste that, and then press enter. I'm not gonna press enter right now because I don't wanna download this playlist right now, but once you do that, it'll load up a bunch of this stuff and show you the progress of how it's downloading, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then all your music will end up in here. Easy peasy. There are some times where you download your music and it doesn't give you the right song. Here, I'll try to find an example. Oh, 
like this is not the song that I'm trying to download. This is an entirely different song. And the reason why that is, is because what SpotFetch does is it reads your CSV file. Oh my God, I can't say file. It reads your CSV file. It looks it up on YouTube. It downloads whatever result comes from YouTube. So sometimes this song will just be completely wrong. To fix that, all you have to do is just go to YouTube, search up your song. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up because this is kind of a niche song. Okay, it took a second to find the song, but I found it. Um, you're just going to copy the link of the correct song, then press 2, download song or playlist using YouTube URL, paste down the URL, and then enter output directory. I'm just going to delete this real quick so that it'll just replace the file. Then just press enter, and it'll do its thing. And then it's done. You'll see if I refresh, it's there, and this should be the correct song now. Yup, it is. Downloading Winamp, on the other hand. Really easy, all you have to do is just go to Winamp's website, press download legacy, and it'll download, set it up like you would any other normal program. You will come up with this, which is just the basic default skin, or, or one of the basic default skins. There's four default skins. You'll get something that kind of looks like this. And if you want to make it look cool, all you have to do is first minimize that. Search up Winam skins. Click on the first thing that comes up and you'll get this huge archive of a bunch of skins. And all you have to do is just type down what keyword you want to look for and then download whatever skin you want. So let's say that I want, let's say I want this skin. You're going to go down here, press download. And then, oh, we got to find our, we got to find our skin directory first. All you're going to do is just go to options, skins, skin browser, and then set skins directory. You can just make your own folder for your skins. I put it under documents personally. We're going to navigate to this folder, make sure that your skin downloads in here. And once that's done... Oh my god, I can't freaking find it. Okay. <laughs> Once that's done, it'll show up in your skins folder. And then now you have Winamp. I'm not sure where this button is on the skin that I was using. So I just went back to like one of the original skins. But anyways, you're going to go to playlist. Or actually, I think you just go anywhere and it'll show up. Never mind, you're going to go to playlist. And then go to import down here. Import playlist from folder. And then select whichever folder you use to download all your music. Press OK. And then it would show up with all the songs kind of like this. But since I already have it set up, then you won't see it. But, you know. And then that's kind of it. Let's find the song that I just downloaded. Here it is. And that's how you use Winamp. Something cool about Winamp is you can turn on the visualizer. You can use this visualizer. And I think you can customize the visualizer too, but I haven't done it before. So I won't show that in this video. But you can like turn on the visualizer and then it'll like visualize your music. I don't know what, what the verb for it would be, but yeah. Anyways, that is the video. If you have any questions, low key, I'm not the most like tech savvy person. I just know how to download stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, if you have any questions, I'm sure you can open up an issue with SpotFetch in their GitHub, or I guess you can comment under this video and I can help as much as I can. But that's it. Thanks for watching and have fun.